We just got a shit ton of fuel out. Uh, I ain't had an injector get hung on this thing. That's the first time I've ever had an injector get hung. Well, at least it happened here. Still there. I've never had an injector get hung. How do we get an injector hung? Mm. Is it trash or something? We just changed that cap today. Did we get trash and the fuel from that? Must have. It's the fuel, no, the fuel filter should have caught that. Yeah. You're freaking kidding me right now. What in the world? There's something in the valley too. Where's that fuel as well probably? There's nothing. There's not anything in the valley. Uh -oh. Yeah, look at those. So is all that? I, I feel like I heard a lot of valve train noise in the car. Is that normal until it gets warm? Yeah, that's normal. Okay. This haven't ever been in one of the runners, so it's like, man, that's. I, I, well, and I loosened, I loosened the latch up a little bit. I'm getting methanol tears. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, down here. Okay. Hold on a second. Anything coming out? Yep. Pour it out. Is it? Yep. I think the biggest chunk of it just came out a second ago. So. Did it? Yeah. One on the start. It's still coming out some. Yeah, there it comes. Hey, so, all right. So, I guess, man, that's the first time I've ever had that happen. Uh, stuck injectors happen all the time. That's the first time those have stuck. Uh, and it's stuck open. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess we're... We're going to take that injector out real fast and see why it's stuck. And then, uh, yeah, we're, we're done for the night, guys. Okay, we're done. We're going to do that, but I ain't going to show y'all that on video. We'll see you. Brandon, I appreciate you coming over. Thanks. I appreciate Long, you uh, Now we're almost 12 hours into the longest turbo build ever, and we're still not done. All right, comment, like, and subscribe. Later, guys. All right, guys, the injector did not appear to be stuck.
on both sides. That don't make no sense. It's coming straight out of the exhaust, like it's coming out there. Why is it coming out? Is, is the is there something wrong with the, the fuel pressure regulator? Look, uh, I'm gonna take this off. See if there's any fuel coming out of the fuel pressure regulator. It should be squirting out of this right here. Yeah. All right, get, get the um, throttle. throttle. Yeah, it's coming out of this line up here. Fuel pressure regulator, man. It probably made 200 pounds of fuel pressure. Yeah. Good God. That's explain why it's coming out of every possible yeah. hole it could. So when they fell, they fell open and it was closed. Oh, closed. I saw it coming out of the top right there, too? Yeah, I saw it coming out like out of the vacuum fitting. That's probably not right. Where's the big one? Yeah. So, fuel pressure regulator. I tell you what, that's the problem. It's not the injector. It just probably had two. It just had 200 pounds of fuel pressure. Yeah, and it had to go somewhere. That's right. So it just forces it. Through. That's crazy seeing it come out of the exhaust like that. That's what happens when you have a. I need something. That, I can't pull on this. I need something to edit. All right, guys. Well, it looks like our fuel pressure regulator is stuck, sticking, busted, something. Yay, it never ends. All right, guys, we still got some work to do. Now, I, can't, I guess I can't be mad. I mean, this thing, I've had this fuel pressure regulator since I have been fuel injection, and the diaphragm's busted. So, uh, so we got to order, see if we can get a rebuild kit for it. If we can get a rebuild quick kit for it quick, we'll rebuild it. If not, we'll get another fuel pressure regulator. All right, guys, we are done now. We are we're done. I guess we need to pull all the plugs out of it and turn the motor over so that we can get uh, the alcohol out of the out of the motor so it don't rust overnight or the next few days. All right, guys, comment, a like, and subscribe later. Okay, so here is the problem with the fuel pump. Like I said, I've had this fuel pump forever and never really had an issue out of it, but it's not really designed for a belt drive fuel pump. My belt drive fuel pump is not being moving the most fuel so this new fuel pump that i got from tyson it flows a ton and that's why it started doing it uh, i just ordered another regulator one like we got for randy's it's a compact body like this but instead of having a small hole here it's 500 thousandths it's an air motive so it should flow enough fuel and that's what the problem is at wide open throttle where it's consuming the fuel not a problem but when you don't need the amount of fuel that a belt drive can do then that's the issue so this is the problem so i can't get a rebuild kit for this one so i'll buy a rebuild kit for this one and then probably just sell it so i just measured that orifice and that is the size a quarter inch orifice the air motive one that i just ordered has got a half inch and it's designed for belt drives No fuel pressure regulator. That thing is 
That ain't. Is there anything I must pressure it out? It normally has like 60. Well, wow, how much is it? It's clearly making enough. I mean, it was running good. It was running a little bit leaner. That's why it was idling a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. But okay, well, we just wanted to start it to get the get the methanol out of the the cylinders. So I think we we're successful. Yeah. All right, we're done for sure this time. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe. Like. Yeah, okay.